Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Hey everybody, my name is Chris and I'm the youth coordinator at the Parker campus. I have a question for you today. Have you ever struggled to forgive someone before? I know I certainly have, and I would say most of you watching have. Let's see what Jesus says about forgiveness and unforgiveness in Matthew 18, 21 through 35. And I'm going to read that right here from my Bible. Then Peter came to him and asked, Lord, how often should I forgive someone who sins against me? Seven times? No, not seven times, Jesus replied, but 70 times seven. Therefore, the kingdom of heaven can be compared to a king who decided to bring his accounts up to date with servants who had borrowed money from him. In the process, one of his debtors was brought in who owed him millions of dollars. He couldn't pay, so his master ordered that he be sold, along with his wife, his children, and everything he owned, to pay the debt. But the, land, but the man fell down before his master and begged him, Please be patient with me, and I will pay it all. Then his master was filled with pity for him, and he released him and forgave his debt. But when the man left the king, he went to a fellow servant who owed him a few thousand dollars. He grabbed him by the throat and demanded instant payment. His fellow servant fell down before him and begged for a little more time. Be patient with me and I will pay it, he pleaded. But his creditor wouldn't wait. He had the man arrested and put in prison until the debt could be paid in full. When some of the other servants saw this, they were very upset. They went to the king and told him everything that had happened. Then the king called in the man he had forgiven and said, You evil servant, I forgave you that tremendous debt because you pleaded with me. Shouldn't you have mercy on your fellow servant just as I had mercy on you? Then the angry king sent the man to prison to be tortured until he paid his entire debt. That's what my heavenly father will do to you if you refuse to forgive your brothers and sisters from your heart. So when Jesus says the line, forgive somebody 70 times, seven times, he doesn't mean that literally. He doesn't mean to forgive people 490 times and then to stop forgiving them after that. Jesus is saying to always forgive others, no matter how much they don't deserve forgiveness. And the story that Jesus shared, the servant didn't deserve forgiveness for his debt of millions of dollars, but his master had mercy on him and forgave him. But the servant didn't have the same mercy on his fellow servant and didn't forgive him. God chooses to forgive us no matter what we've done when we ask for his forgiveness. And if we can't forgive our fellow brothers and sisters just as God has, God will be upset with us. It's like Jesus was predicting the type of forgiveness he was about to offer to all of humanity. If Jesus could die on the cross for our sins, come back to life three days later, forgive us for our sins, and give us eternal life if we believe in him, how could we as Christians not forgive people? We don't deserve the forgiveness Jesus gives us, but he forgives us anyways. I'm not saying give up all your boundaries and let people walk all over you, but what I'm saying is to allow God to soften your heart and to allow him to open you up to forgiving others. Forgiveness is freeing and it leads to healing. It brings healing into your own life. It might bring healing into that other person's life. And it might lead to reconciliation between you and that person, depending on the situation. Uh, on a personal note, when I was a little girl, my dad committed suicide. Before he passed away, he had been severely abusive towards me. It took me a lot of time to forgive him fully. Forgiveness towards him came in layers. I now have been able to let go of that hurt and pain of unforgiveness. And now I'm walking in the freedom of forgiveness. I want that for you, and I know God wants that for you. So this week, dig deep and ask God if there's someone you've been holding unforgiveness towards. Once you identify that person and how they wronged you, pray and ask God to help you to forgive that person. Ask God to give you wisdom on how to handle the process of 
forgiveness and that he would forgive you for harboring unforgiveness towards that person. All right, have a good day. Bye.